So this is essentially packing every time we have to go somewhere because I couldn't get my shelf back up there from when I had to take it down. So they don't have a good spot to sit. So basically, so I have to set everything on the bed. For the most part, nothing really moves, which is nice, but it's still obnoxious. But it's all for that taste of exploration, I guess. She starts every day. Hopefully we don't have any issues today. Did 600 miles, so about a 10 hour day almost, nine hour day. About 50, 60 miles away from the truck stop for the night. The bus kicked really hard on me, like it was getting out of gear. And then it kicked hard again on me a few minutes later. And then when I finally got off the on-ramp to go to the truck stop, I came to a stop at the stoplight and then tried to go and it was like I was trying to go in like second gear in a stick shift or something. It was bad. There was almost like no power to it. The tranny fluid looks low. I checked it before I left Wisconsin and it was full. So I'm going to check again and see what happens. Yeah. Today was a terrible day. Fluid building up, like you can see it if you go look underneath, you might be able to see where it looks like there's a pool forming. Maybe it would be worth finding a local diesel shop and see if they can come out here and run a diagnostic on it, at least so we know where we're at, where we sit. Yeah. You know, see what they're, I'll try it to see what it feels like, but I mean, your, your rear end. for two winters it didn't get a lot of driving on it I think that's had a lot to do with it but the water pump looks like it went because um, now it's leaking more antifreeze mechanically I just didn't prepare enough for the problems. I mean, it's kind of what it comes down to. Um, but we're weighing our options. Let's see if anything can be done. Otherwise, Well, while we're waiting to hear back from a mechanic to see if they can take a look at the bus, we're going to go check out the Grubbin Pub next door to get some food. Looks like a pretty cool place. 
Ooh, oh my gosh, look at all this candy. Oh wait. Oh man, there's look at all this ice cream. Holy cow. Super touristy, I know, but I don't even care. Sure. Like I've been touristy since we left. Right? Tables are huge. <sighs> so, coming at you from the last night in the bus. Probably for a long time. But, had to make some hard decisions these last couple days. And, uh, <sighs> I gotta store it for the winter. I found a store, a RV storage uh, here in Casper, Wyoming. Um, taking it over there tomorrow morning. It's it was not an easy choice, but at the end of the day, um, just trying to deal with it, I guess. Um, you know, currently, financially. I just don't have enough to fix it and it sucks but I'm hoping for a brighter future ahead stay tuned more to come I guess oh yeah not gonna have enough room we got room and then some poor Leslie we're staying at a hotel tonight but we're about to head to take the bus to the storage shed. Ugh. Here we are at her resting place for the winter. She rode really rough here. I, I'm really worried what's wrong with this thing. So what it's come down to, my friends. Solar's gone. I'm not actually crying, it's just really stuffy. I mean, I am a little teary-eyed, but this is sad. So sad. Hey friends, thanks for watching the final episode of AJ's Short Bus Adventure. It is very sad to see that the bus will no longer be used again, but given the current list of mechanical issues that are actually wrong with the bus, I decided that I'm going to invest my money into a different conversion option. So stay tuned to the channel, more videos will be coming, another conversion project will be taking place soon. It's been great, it's been great fun. We'll see you guys down the road. Bye, Strugby. You'll be missed.